Now, indigenous African grains such as millet and sorghum are known to be nutritious but are not popular with many. Now, a Kenyan entrepreneur is using the grains to make snacks and breakfast cereals to promote consumption of indigenous grains. Juma Majanga reports. At her home-based factory in Nairobi, Dora Momani is making popcorn snacks using indigenous grains. Momani says IPOP Africa was birthed three years ago from her master's degree research project on the role of indigenous African grains in promoting nutrition in Kenya's semi-arid areas. Today, Momani purchases grains such as yellow indigenous maize, millet, sorghum, and brown rice from smallholder farmers. She converts them into snacks to provide consumers with convenient and healthy snacks that are rich in nutrients and free from oil and gluten. What IPOP is trying to do is to reclaim or bring back the glory of the traditional millet and sorghum. What we basically do is we transform these uh, indigenous grains that are climate smart, remember, because now we are talking about climate change everywhere. And we are also talking about our water tables going down. So we really want uh, people in semi-arid regions to benefit from what they have. The grains are subjected to high pressure and a temperature machine that transforms them into pops. To enhance the taste of the products, natural flavors and spices are then added through a process called food-to-food -food fortification. The result is a range of snacks and breakfast cereals. The products are receiving good reviews. Brandon Wayaki, a student at the United States International University Africa in Nairobi, is a consumer of the snacks. It's, it's, it's a nice snack. Like, if, for, like you see, people love maybe taking popcorns and they're going for movies. So this can be like a nice alternative to popcorn. Yeah, because it's healthy and it still has the same taste, so it's okay. Kenya is one of the countries that still grapples with food security. More than a quarter of the children under the age of five, or two million children, have stunted growth, according to UNICEF. Experts say the situation is similar across Africa. Antonina Mutoro is a research scientist at the African Population and Health Research Center in Nairobi. We are currently experiencing a nutrition transition, which means that there is a shift in diets from traditional diets, which are mainly rich in, in um, micronutrients and fiber to diets which are more mostly processed, high in fat, salt and sugar. So as a consequence, you find that there is an increase in um, non-communicable diseases such as diabetes and hypertension, as well as obesity. To help address climate change, which is one of the factors affecting food systems in Africa, IPOP Africa has come up with a One Snack, One Tree initiative where the company plants a tree for every product purchased. Momani says her goal is to revolutionize the snack industry and foster environmental sustainability. We are also uh, looking at a population that is getting educated more and more, and uh, we are seeing a change in consumption patterns. So in future, actually from now going to the future, we are um, seeing a larger population moving to consumption of healthy alternative, healthy food products. And that is the niche market that we are trying to venture into. Nutrition and food security remain major challenges on the African continent. Entrepreneurs like Mumani hope to be at least part of the solution. Right now, four years have passed since African countries